All right, everybody. Here we are. Hello, everyone in TV land. You too, land. We're about to make some smoky sweet potato soup. What are you watching that's in the background here? Get shorty. Jesus, this is all broken up. I'm just undoing this bullion stuff. There's enough flavor with all these ingredients. It just so happens I happen to have a little bacon grease that I always have around. It's flavorful. I mean, there's, there's going to be pork in this, in this dish anyway, so I might as well use it, you know? I always start off with an onion. Onion, a jalapeno pepper, a poblano pepper, and some smoked sausage. I think the recipe I used to make at, at, the, at the two restaurants, I didn't even use peppers. I might have used the jalapeno. So, but if given the choice to make it, you, you're going to use peppers? I like to put a pepper in it. A poblano? Uh, and a jalapeno. And a jalapeno. I'm a big uh, poblano pepper fan. Yeah, you're a big fan of roasted peppers. Yeah. You like to put that in the I don't even like to bother getting bell peppers if I don't have to. You think they're overused? Well, I, I, I'm not that excited about their flavor or their lack of flavor. No, you don't want to start a fire like I just did. And the chopped onions waiting for some peppers and some sausage. There was a rat out there. It didn't look like it was all that healthy. It looked like there was something wrong with it. Otherwise, why would it be walking? And as slow as it was moving, even my pistol with the red dot missed it. So. Well, in the daytime, it might be less effective. The red dot? Yeah. Yeah, I know. And I'm glad, you know, someone didn't call the police, because you're really not supposed to be shooting guns downtown here. Now I'm going to put some sausage in it. First I cut it in half and then I get quarters. Okay? Sure. And then I whack it up. Chicken stock. You gonna add water? Yeah. Well, here's a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder. There's some cilantro for the end. I got a little coriander. Now I usually would put thyme in it, but I don't have any here. I'm gonna hit some ground oregano. I'm gonna hit some liquid smoke. Now this is pretty potent stuff, so you gotta be careful. That's it. Just a few, oh hi. Just a few drops. Now let's cut up some potatoes, which is the feature ingredient of this. I've made this with uh, canned potatoes, canned sweet potatoes. These are real sweet potatoes. Okay. You prefer to make it with real sweet potatoes? Yeah. But it, the cans are good. Well, you got to be careful with potatoes because sometimes they roll and cut yourself. I've had my worst cuts with lemons and potatoes, mostly lemons. Hey, Beanie, what are you doing over there? Kathy called you. Yeah. I mean, how are you going to not tell someone that? <laughs> One mistake short of the news headline. Yeah. I mean, I knew when she told me that, I knew you missed the rat. Well, you gotta watch for the stems. A lot of times it comes pretty sandy. This particular soup 
calls for a garnish of a dollop of sour cream. But I never could get anybody at the restaurants to do that for some reason. Really? Yeah. I think I always used to ask when I, as yeah. a, when I was a server. Yeah. Well, yeah, because not everybody would want sour cream. And I added some of this smoke, which I think I'm going to add a little more because I'm not, it's not very smoky. And there you go. Now we just let it simmer until the when the potatoes are completely cooked, it's, it's pretty much done. And then we'll blend it. I'm going to put a little chili in it. What was that? Chili. All this southwestern kind of stuff works. Yeah. How would they go about finishing a smoky sweet potato hot dog? Uh, blender. That's what I would have done if I didn't have this here. My blender. 